Hey guys, it's Cartoon101 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hot Wheels Toon Lane um, Raceway set. Um, I don't know if that's the right name for it, but because it's a pretty old set, so yeah, but here it is. Um, here's the whole um, part of it, but then the race track is, um, is going all the way down to my bed, so yeah, it's pretty long. Um, I measured it, and with this ruler, I measured it in inches, and it's about, um, six and a half inches from there to here. But if you count this part, it's also seven inches. So, yeah. Um, basically, um, it's a, kind of like a wind-up toy, but, um, this, it, this isn't like winding up to um, race or anything, it's just winding up the track so it'll be portable, so I, um, I, um, I really like that, I'll show you that at the end of the video when I put everything back together, but anyway, um, um, you have these two compartments on top, like that, where you can put cars, so let me show you that, I have, um, a car right here, it's just quicksand, um, so yeah, so you can, store your cars in here just like that and close it and then um you can also get another car this one is rd09 right there rd09 and you can put it in the other compartment and take it anywhere and you won't fall out so yeah so that's also a cool thing about this and it is also a car launcher um, so, basically, you press, there's these two, um, what do you call them, launcher things right here, and what you do is press them inside like that, so, see that, so you can, so you can see that it goes in, and then you also do this side too, and then when you press this orange button right here, it will launch the car. So basically, um, if you put a car like right here, and um, you press the orange button, it will just um, like um, push it forward and making it go down the track. So um, this also has a unique um, finish finish line um, thing. So if a car like goes. Um, Whoever's the fastest car will go down here first, and it will hit this, and it will lift this flag up. Now the back, it says finish, with the checkered flag like that. So, yeah, and then um, wh the second one will hit this, and the flag, his flag will not raise that. So yeah. So that's a pretty cool, unique um, finish sign there. So, yeah, so, um, one more thing I want to point out is, in the last video, I did a review on the Disney's car and Michael Drifters, and here's one right now, um, you can use these for this track, so I'll be showing you after, I'll show you a race with these two Hot Wheel cars, so, let me do that, put them on the track, oh yeah, and, um, some cars with big wheels will not um, fit on here because it's only so um, thin. But you can like um, it's plastic, so you can flex it out to give it more room. But yeah, so you push these launchers in. This and two, so they are in. Then you just, oops, you just pull your cars back like that inside, the other car inside too, like that. So, it's ready to launch. So let me, you guys, at an angle. So three, two, one. And by the way, this does, this launcher does launch them fast. So three, two, one. So, 
this car to make it all down the lane because um, the lane was probably too small for it. But as you can see, um, RB09 um, hit the flag and his flag went up. So yeah, so he went through this. Let me show you that. So it, he went down and hit it just like that. So yeah, so that's um, how that works. Um, it's pretty, this Hot Wheels do um, roll on this pretty nicely, as you can see. So yeah. Um, so, let me show you how it, how it works with um, these micro drifters. So let me push the launchers in. And then you launch it back like that. Or put it back there. And then let me take this guy. I don't know all these names. Sorry about that, but anyway. Um fortunately though, um the cars will have trouble hitting the launcher or the flag though because it's not enough power not enough power to hit it and go through but sometimes it may so yeah three two one well yeah um if since um i know it said i said that it works with this track and it does but then it's probably because um the track is too long for these cars and they are really small so if you wind up but just a little you can, it might um actually could go through so let me show you that let me just get the two cars um oh yeah and these are wide enough so that if it launches weird it could like turn and do flips and stuff so that's pretty cool and that's why the cut car was backward because it slid probably it was like this and probably slid like that so yeah so let me show you how how to wind it up um, on this side kind of looks like a wheel but it has this thing and like this side that just looks like that you there's this opening you put your hand in there take it out and then it's like a crank for you for winding it up so when you turn it just like this like that it starts um starts winding up as you can see. See? So let me just wind it up more. Let's see. It's kinda hard to do it with one hand. So So yeah, so that's pretty um good size for the micro gesture, so let me show you that. Okay, so three, two, one, launch. So see, um, they both launched and they hit the finish line. So yeah, so let me just get those out of here and show you how it looks like all the way wind up. Let me do that. Guys, can wait right here. I lined it up. So it is pretty loud unfortunately. I wish they could have made hot wheels could have made it like less loud. So you can see it's pretty much done. Um you just wind it up more. Yeah, and then when it comes to be like that, you put this down, and then push this in, just like that. Okay, and then um, this, these can hold one car if you're using Hot Wheels, but they can hold nine cars on Micro Drifters. So let me show you that. Four, the time runs up, just like that. And this side too. 
they could only hold about eight cards so yeah so hope you like my video and don't forget to subscribe rate like and